Hi, welcome to Solid Edge 2022 video tutorial. It's a basic surface exercise done with 2D sketches and very similar to all the other programs. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. So let's start with a sketch, but first transition to ordered. Then go for a sketch, maybe on the front plane. Let's go for a line. Add dimensions, maybe 50. And that distance here should be 60. And there should be an angle. And that angle should be 84 degrees. Now I will need a rotation axis, so I could draw a construction line here in this sketch, maybe like that, and make it for construction only, and give it a length as well. Make it 50. Close that sketch. Finish, go for another sketch on the same plane. This should be a center point arc. That would be here, arc by center point. Maybe like, don't snap, like this here, maybe like that. Now add lines. Okay, make them both for construction only. Okay, but not this one. Then add dimensions. That angle here should be 70 degrees. This looks okay. Then Add the distance here, and that should be 30. That distance here should be 50. This is so awkward that it moved that angle. Now, in order to make it work, I need another angular dimension and this could be between that one and this one or that one and this one. So let's go for an angle between this one here and that one and this should be 10 degrees like that and that's okay. And the radius should be 20. Close that sketch. Then a last sketch. No, not on this plane again. A last sketch on the right plane here. Again, a center point arc starts here. And Really, <laughs> that's so crazy. You have to start on this side in order, or you could go for the complement, but that's not possible. So, okay, start with that center point arc on this here and go over there. Now add a dimension that would be 64 and make sure those two points are aligned and those two points as well. Close that sketch. And now I can go for my surfaces. 
let's start with a extrude. Select this one, accept it, and the distance might be 60 millimeters. Click here, finish, cancel this out. And now I want to make Where is it? A ruled surface. Select this edge here and make it 40. That's okay. Then select this edge here and make it again 40. And cancel this out. Nice. Now I want to go for a revolve. with this sketch here, except and I want to select this line here as axis and this would be 90 degrees. Finish, cancel this out. And the last extrude with this one here, except in this direction and again it should be at least 60 millimeters. Finish, cancel this out. And now I can go for the trim. Maybe hide those planes, maybe hide those sketches. Before I begin to trim, I should stitch those three surfaces. So go for stitched, confirm, Select the face, this one and that one, and make it one surface body. Accept. Finish. Cancel this out. And now I could go for the trim. So you could use trim, but I want to go for intersect. So go for intersect. Select all the surface bodies accept it and now I want to select those regions I want to keep. There's a little trick. So I select this one, that one and this one. And now I can invert the selection. And that's the trick which gives me the faces I want to keep and confirm. That's a very nice tool. Cancel this out. Now, these are three surface bodies, so I want to stitch them. Confirm. One, two, three. And confirm. Then I want to mirror that body here. So go to home. Go to, where is it? Mirror copy part this one and the mirror plane would be the right plane. Finish, cancel this out. Okay, before I stitch those together I want to derive that edge here. So let's take a look at the surfacing, go to derived and I want to derive this edge here, except finish, cancel this out. Now I want to stitch those two surfaces, this one and that one. Accept, finish, cancel this out. And now I want to go for a round with very radius. Go to options, go to variable radius, okay. Select this edge here, confirm. And now I have to use points. And I made this one to get that center point here. So let's select this point, make it 10 millimeters. Select this point, make it 10 millimeters. And select that point here and make it 20 millimeters. Preview, finish, cancel this out. Let's hide that derived curve here. And now go for another round 
5 mm constant radius here and over there. Accept, preview, finish, cancel this out and now go for another mirror. Mirror the copy part, this one, accept and the mirror plane in this case would be the front plane. Finish, cancel this out and stitch those two surfaces. One, two. And confirm. Finish, cancel this out and I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.